creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. My dear friends, thank you for joining us in this novena to St. Francis of Assisi. We pray together with Francis as we seek the will of our Father, walking in the footsteps of Francis to praise, bless, and glorify our Father who has created us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of our hearts and give us true faith, certain hope, and perfect charity, sense and knowledge, Lord, that we may carry out your holy and true command. Now we'll hear about one aspect from the life of St. Francis and how others are following in his footsteps. Thank you for joining our novena to St. Francis of Assisi. My name is Sylvia Gonzalez, I coordinate the Faith Community Nursing Ministry at St. Mary, Our Lady of Grace. I'm a secular Franciscan and a member of the Legion of Mary. I share Francis' love for Mary. According to legend, one day St. Francis had a vision of his friars trying to reach Christ by a very tall red ladder. After climbing a few rungs, they would fall back. Our Lord then showed St. Francis another ladder, white and much less steep, with the Blessed Virgin at the top. And he said to Francis, advise your sons to go by the ladder of my mother. St. Francis showed great devotion to Mary as the daughter of the Father, the Virgin Mother of the Son, and the spouse of the Holy Spirit. Mary made Jesus the Son of God, our brother, and she leads us to her son. Mary is the patroness of the Franciscan family. Let us pray. Lord, please respond. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Catholics would embrace Mary, our Heavenly Mother, as the model of the perfect disciple. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in devotion to the life of Christ through the Holy Rosary, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Mary's Immaculate Heart will attract all the world to her Son and lead all sinners to true repentance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray Francis' prayer, asking for Mary's intercession. Holy Virgin Mary, 
You are blessed among all born into this world, daughter and handmaid of the Most High King, the Heavenly Father, mother of our Most Holy Lord Jesus Christ, spouse of the Holy Spirit. Pray for us with Saint Michael the Archangel and all the power of heaven and all the saints before your most holy and beloved Son, the Lord and Master. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, most holy, our Creator, our Redeemer and Savior, our Comforter, who art in heaven, in the angels and the saints, giving them light to know you, since you, O Lord, are light, setting them afire to love you, since you, O Lord, are love, abiding in them and filling them for their bliss, since you, O Lord, are the sovereign good, the eternal good, from which everything good has its being, and without which there is nothing good. Hallowed be thy name. May we grow in our knowledge of you, that we may appreciate the width of your favors and the length of your promises to us, as well as the utter height of your majesty and the depth of your judgments. Your kingdom come, so that you may rule in us through your grace and have us reach your kingdom, where the sight of you is clear, love of you is perfect, association with you is full of bliss, and enjoyment of you is eternal. Your will be done on earth as in heaven, so that we may love you with all our heart by always keeping you in mind, with all our soul by always longing for you, with all our mind, by directing all our attentions to you and seeking your glory in everything, and with all our strength, by exerting all our forces and faculties of soul and body in your loving service and in nothing else, so that we may love our neighbor as ourselves by getting them all so far as we can to love you, by being as glad at the good fortune of others as at our own, while feeling for their misfortune and giving no offense to anybody. Give us this day our daily bread. Your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we will remember, understand, and respect the love He bore for us and all He said and did and endured for us. And forgive us our trespasses. In your unutterable mercy, in virtue of the suffering of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the merits and intercession of the Blessed Virgin and all your elect. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and what we do not fully forgive, do you, O Lord, make us forgive fully, so that for your sake we may truly love our enemies and devotedly intercede with you for them, giving nobody evil in return for evil and trying to be helpful toward everybody in your name. And lead us not into temptation, neither hidden nor apparent, neither sudden nor persistent. But deliver us from evil, past, present, and future. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May He show His face to us and have mercy on us. May He turn His countenance toward us and give us peace. Amen.
Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury or pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel. Let me bring hope where there is darkness, only light, and where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to. channel of your peace it is in pardon me